Hello, and welcome to CalcBlock's video tutorial on storing numerical data on your TI-83 Plus or TI-84 Plus graphing calculator. Storing data is one of the many convenient features your calculator is capable of. It's often useful to store an intermediate step in a problem so you can use it later, and it can help you avoid making errors or entering values. Numbers can be stored in any of the 26 capital letter variables, as well as the theta character located on the number 3 key. Let's start with a simple example. We're going to enter 1 plus the square root of 5, and we're going to divide that by 2. Let's see what the result is. Recall that you can access your last result on your calculator using your calculator's answer feature, reached by pressing the second button, followed by the negation key. This only keeps track of your last number, though. If we want to save this number for later, we can store it using a letter variable. We do this by first entering what we want to store, in this case our last answer, pressing the STOW button, and then entering the capital letter we want to store the variable into. Let's store this answer into the letter F, which we can reach by pressing the ALPHA button, followed by the cosine key to select F. Now, whenever we enter F, our calculator gives us the value of the variable back. Let's try it out. We can even use our variable f to calculate new quantities. Let's use the variable f in a calculation and store the answer in a new variable. We're going to press 1 divided by f and let's store that result into variable g. Now that we've stored our result into variable g, let's use it in an expression. We're going to enter f, and we're going to subtract g from f. Let's see what the answer is. As you can see, this is very handy for working complicated computational problems where there are lots of values or steps to keep track of. You can store your answers in a separate letter variable and refer back to them later. There are many other kinds of variables on your calculator that can be used to store different kinds of values, including lists, matrices, strings, and graphs. If you're interested in learning more about your calculator's features, check out our website at www.calcblog.com and follow us on Twitter at CalcBlog or check out our Facebook page. Thanks for watching.